Dr. Jaffe, um, can pork choline citrate be utilized to improve GI motility in constipation cases and to improve the small intestinal dysmotility that we often see um, in uh, SIBO situations, which increases that bacterial overgrowth? Yes, yeah, SIBO is bacterial overgrowth in a digestive tract that has been devastated, usually by antibiotic or other medical therapies, or by the stress of high-tech living, or by exposure to toxins. So yes, when we want to recover from SIBO, we want to put more of the good in, in ways that the body can easily uh, make better use uh, of, in order to evoke healing responses. Now. When we uh, talk about the management of SIBO, we need to remember what we're seeing influences our digestion, what we put in our mouth and what we do with the food in our mouth. If you're eating a healthy whole diet, you will chew your food. If your food is processed enough that you can kind of throw it into your mouth and just swallow it, we suggest that's fiber deficient and will feed the problem, not solve the problem. Beatrice Trumhunter, one of my many mentors in functional nutrition, pointed out that good nutrition begins in how you choose the foods, the quality of the foods, are they organic, biodynamic, or homegrown, and how you then combine them with minimal processing. You can come to our front yard, you'll find a permaculture biodynamic food forest from which we take herbs and other simple things and bring them into the kitchen for meals. Then we have to recover from the cost of high tech living. So we might need something to support the stomach, either L-histidine amino acids and or a digestive bitters, then fiber, prebiotic fiber, as Dennis Burkett taught us, 40 to 100 grams a day, but you might want to start on a lower dose of fiber and build up because many people, if you start on a full dose of fiber, they'll get gassy and uncomfortable. So please talk to our health coaches, look at the PIH Academy modules on healthier digestion and how to make use of the wisdom that we learn from Dennis Burkett that we apply through nature's alkaline way. Similarly, you want probiotic organisms, 40 to 100 billion a day. And now that comes from live fermented foods, which are relatively easy to make at home, or live fermented foods that you get from a place, usually a cold case, because uh, they need to be kept cold until you bring them up to room temperature to eat them. And by the way, you can have any temperature beverages you want, but they should not be ice cold. Because when you think about it, if you put ice cold liquids in your stomach, you're going to cool the stomach and you're going to cool the stomach to the point where it's not going to produce as much stomach acid as it would need. So please follow the basic guideline of nature's alkaline way. Please follow the basics that we recommend, including the recycled glutamine that helps repair and energize the lining, the enterocytes, the cells of the digestive tract that are very rapid in their proliferation and they're very short lived. And so they don't use the usual sugar pathways or others to make energy. They depend upon glutamine for energy. And we have pioneered how to recycle the glutamine so you get the benefit of that energy without building up glutamate, which is an excital neurotoxin that we do want to avoid. So there are some details and we're happy to provide you with the evidence and the information so that you can communicate to people that the marathon of good digestion is available, but it takes some perseverance. It takes willingness to take the information, the inspiration, the guidance that we can provide through you into the home, into the habits of daily living. And so we want to do a makeover of what we consume and how well we're hydrated we want to have a makeover in our kitchen so that we're exposing ourselves to less toxic matter and exposing ourselves to more healthy and healthful, high nutrition, high value, easy to digest, assimilate and eliminate foods that leave our digestive tract with a healthy 12 to 18 hour transit time that allow us to make ample bulky stools that float and are associated with lifetime better health, not 
pencil-like uh, stools that immediately sink to the bottom of the commode and are associated with chronic illness, just to simplify a very complex subject. So by all means, persevere. By all means, look to us for guidance in individual situations. And yes, we do very well in helping people recover completely from SIBO and not suffer from it. And to just touch upon the first point, um, how would choline citrate, how would per choline citrate um, be utilized to increase or improve that motility? What would be the mechanism in that? Well, choline deficiency is so rampant in America that it does diminish acetylcholine neurotransmitter, which is necessary for normal peristalsis and it is one of many causes of constipation. So yes, correcting a choline deficiency, but the only way to correct a choline deficiency properly and safely is with choline citrate. There are other cholines out, but they either have so little choline or they have another counter ion like bitartrate, uh, which dramatically reduces their benefit. Um, and so you want choline citrate, but if you have constipation, and you are correcting the choline and citrate deficiency, then you also want to be checking daily the urine pH after rest and adjusting the number of doses of magnesium choline citrate that you take in based on that cellular acid load detectable after rest in the urine. So magnesium and choline citrate work synergistically, especially in people with digestive issues and particularly in people who are constipated. Remember also that vitamin D, inadequate, low vitamin D, is associated with constipation. Inadequate ascorbate, and we recommend the C-Cleanse to find out how much antioxidant protective ascorbate you need to deal with the pro-oxidative anti-nutrient burdens uh, of today. So it's more challenging to be well today. It does take uh, for most of us, a bit of a makeover in our kitchen and in our personal care, but it adds such quality to our lives that those of us who have made the transition and live this way and have lived this way for years, encourage others to choose well and wisely so that they can be well, both in feeling and in overall meaningful moments that populate a life well lived.